Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the May 2015 Grade 5-6 Contest, Question 15, which also came up in the Grade 7-8, 9-10, and 11-12 contests. So the question is, The Morse code is a method to transmit letters and digits with dashes and dots. For example, to send a message by turning a flashlight on and off. How many different code words can be made using three dots and three dashes in each word? Alright, so I'll be showing two different ways to get to the same solution. The first way that I'm going to show will be more suitable for the lower grades, and the second way that I will show will be more elegant and will require more knowledge, so will be more suitable for the higher grades. Okay, so now for my first method of finding the solution, we will have to be very systematic so that we do not miss a sequence. So we will represent the dashes and dots as ones and zeros so that we can think of these sequences as numbers and we can order them from by size from smallest to largest. So generally we want the zeros to always be on the left side and the ones to be on the farthest right because we want to start from the smallest to largest. All right. So let's, let's start by writing down the smallest possible number, and that would be 000111, which would give us 111. Okay, and now next we would still have 0, 0, and now we can't have 0 because then we would just have three ones again. So we would have to have 1, and then right away a 0 and two ones. Okay, and now next we would have two zeros again, and again a one. Now we would have another one before the zero, like this. And now finally we would have the three ones, and then the zero at the end. Alright, so that would be like 1,011, 1,101, and so on. So now the zero is already farthest to the right, so now we must have a one. And with two zeros. All right, so now all the remaining numbers would have a one at the beginning of the number. So now here, as for all these numbers, they all start with a zero, and that means for the remaining five positions, there are two zeros and three ones. So now for all these remaining numbers that start with a one, instead of having the five remaining positions as two zeros and three ones, now we would have three zeros and two ones. So now for all of these numbers, it would just be the same here, except for those zeros and ones being swapped. So therefore, we would have double this number, and here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so we would have another 10, so 10 plus 10. And that is equal to 20. Alright, so now I'll show the second way which will lead to the same solution. Alright, so now let's pretend we have six different object, objects. So A, B, C, D, E, F.
and now we had to choose three out of those six letters. So let's say we chose B, D, and E. And now we would write a one under those letters. And now for the ones that we didn't pick, we would just write a zero under them. All right, so now we can see that this is one method of producing a sequence with three ones and three zeros. So now we can see that each picking of three letters has exactly one sequence of three ones and three zeros. And likewise, uh, every each sequence of three ones and three zeros has that exact picking of those three letters. So therefore, if we found out all possible pickings of these three letters, we would find all the se we would find the sequences, all different sequences of three ones and three zeros. All right. So now let's find out how many pickings of how many different pickings of three letters we would have. All right. So for the first letter, there are six different possibilities. And now for each of those six, we would then have five for the next. And then for each of those six times five, we would then have four for the next. All right, so now this would be the answer if the letter or if the order of the letters did matter. But the order of the letters does not matter because it doesn't matter if we first have the B and then the D or the D and then the B they are both represented by one, so they would just give the exact same sequence. So now we must divide this by all possible orders of three letters, which is also known as the number of permutations. So we would divide this by, first we would have three, and then for the next we would have two, and then of course for the last one we would just have one. All right, so, 3 times 2 is 6, so that would just cancel that. And then we would have 5 times 4 is 20 over 1 is equal to 20. So as we can see, we found the same answer with just, just with two different methods. Now this is also known as 6 choose 3, which can be which can be written like that. All right, now the beauty of the second method is that it can be used for much larger numbers. So now since here, for ex here we had three zeros and three ones, let's say now we had 12 zeros and 15 ones. So then that would give us 27 zeros and ones. Well, then this top number would be 27, and then this bottom number would be either 12 or 15, because they would both give the same answer. So, if you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at carewithtests.com.